guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan, and I'm here with my friend Wayne Gitchy. Okay, Hello, guys. and guys. he is going to talk to us about his amazing lifestyle that he's been living for over a decade. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, Wayne, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. You're amazing. I follow you, and, and I, I follow you too. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I'm a big fan. Um, Same here. First of all, how long have you been vegan? Um, raw vegan or just vegan? Well, I started out raw first. Wow. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been raw vegan? I started in 2012. Yes. But then I transitioned from 211 in December. I wasn't feeling too well. So into 2012 is where I started to make the change. Okay. Tell yeah. us about what was happening in your life at that time. You were not um, feeling well. I was, I, well, I used to be, an, I'm not, I used to be an alcoholic. So I used to drink a lot of liquor and I used to eat a lot of bad food and um, smoking and, the, and, and all these things. So I used to I was putting on a lot of weight and I wasn't feeling healthy. I, I, I had a lot, a lot of head, headaches and a lot of stomach aches and stuff like that. So um, once um, I started to like look towards more for juicing is where I see the, um, most of the difference when I started to like incorporate the juicing into it. So I started to do like more greens. First started out with the greens first and the fruits and then I started to just drink that alone. So I never really ate the fruit. I just drank, I just drank the juices. So it was more like my body was kind of going downhill and I wasn't feeling well, you know, so a lot of headaches and nauseous and stomach problems and stuff like that. And so um, you were oh, more like heavier than you are now. Yes. Yeah, I was around like I was going up to like 200 and uh, like, uh, probably like 210 pounds. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm like 165. So I cut, a, I cut a lot of weight off. But my problem was mostly the bad foods like the pork and the goat, you know, coming from an island family, you know, we eat a lot of goat and things like that. So um, I used to consume a lot of those bad foods and then I was smoking and drinking a, a lot of al alcohol I used to drink. So that was a problem too. So yes. once I started to, um, you know, let the alcohol go and let the bad foods go, I started to incorporate more of the fruits and then that's where I saw a change. But I was drinking it more though <laughs> because I couldn't really, um, there was a point where I couldn't really eat much because when I ate, my stomach would hurt, mm. like when I swallow. So then in my mind, it was kind of more like an anxiety kind of thing. So I was, I was in my mind, my stomach was like, oh, his stomach kind of hurting, hurting. So I found it better when I just drank the juice. So I would just, just juice and just drink. And I, and, and, and I spent a lot, a, a lot of months on that, almost a year, just going straight, just juice alone. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And um, can you talk to some of my followers about um, doing different things? So like, you know, being raw and juicing, it's right. very different. And different scares people. Right. And how did you do it and like deal with your family and friends like thinking you're crazy or like, you know, being so different, eating so different than most of society? Yeah, that is that is kind of tough, man. That's a tough thing to do. Yeah. Um, a lot of people will look at me strange and say, man, this guy's crazy. He's only drinking juice alone. This, 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 this is this all they're eating? Is this, this is all they're eating? I'm like, yeah. But they don't understand I'm doing it for a reason because of pain, you know. I wasn't using the bathroom one time a week. I was backed up mm. bad. Yeah, yeah. I was backed up bad, man. I was one time a week. And when I go, I would strain. So this was happening for a while, though. And it was a warning sign, but I never really noticed the signs. So I thought it was a normal thing to use a bathroom one time a week. There's sometimes I may go too. But after I start to juice and drinking the juice, I go bathroom every single day. When you first started juicing and mm. becoming raw vegan, did you have cravings for the cooked food and the meat? Uh, mostly just chicken only. Yeah. You know, because it was kind of difficult because I, never, I wasn't really much of a steak guy or a, or a pork guy, but the chicken <laughs> is what I really wanted the most. So I would, you know, in like in between, I would have a little chicken here and there, kind of wean, kind of slowly wean myself off. But then um, I, I just stay more composed and just stay di um, disciplined with what I was doing. I just like st just stay on the fast. I mm -hmm. just stay on the juices, you know. Yes. And so what advice would you give to people who are in the beginning? They're having really bad cravings for bread and meat and dairy <laughs> Man, uh, man, you have to find like a substitution for that. Maybe try to go towards more like try to eat the fruit itself. Then you, you, you can have some nuts and seeds and stuff like that. You can try to kind of like kind of wean yourself off. But it's kind of it's difficult, man. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's not an easy thing to do to like be raw. I mean, I mean, you know, too, it's not an easy thing. <laughs> it's not. Like, yeah, 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 and you have to wean yourself off, but you have to use other things to wean yourself off. What's the hardest part about being raw? Um, today, now, today, not um, not being accepted. For a, lot, yes. a, lot, a lot of people will um, look at me strange, and I actually I lose a lot of friends. Nearly like all my friends are probably. Have, I, I mean, they're still there, but they don't talk to me like they used to talk to me. And I probably do the same thing too, you know. But uh, you know, it's just a lot of people, and you know, 
it, it, it kind of judge you, you know? Yeah. It, it judge you because you're doing something different than what, you know, than what they're doing. And we all grew eating a certain way. And once you start doing something different, you know, looking, you're like, oh, man, this guy look like he's crazy or something like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, or, you know, it's annoying. Annoying, People yeah. don't really want to face their addictions. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, yes, yeah. I understand. Okay, so now um, with the raw diet, can you tell us, um, first of all, how did you even discover this juicing and raw foods? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of funny, too. <laughs> I actually went on YouTube like everybody else, and uh, I saw this guy named Dan McDonald. I'm interviewing him next week. You re- you're serious? Yeah. Oh, man, that's good. Dan McDonald, yeah, the, life, the life, regenerator. life regenerator. Yeah. And uh, the first time, um, I was like, looking around for different things to do. So I was just like, look, looking online, I was tired of the pains and having the stomach bloating, the headaches, and not, not on the nauseousness. I wasn't using the toilet. I was gaining weight. And then, and then also the anxiety started kicking. So I was taking uh, um, Xanax and pills. You know, because I was very anxious and like, nervous all the time, and my heart racing, and I was like, "Man, I don't think I can do this anymore." So I was keep on eating the the, the meat and things like that, and I go on YouTube and I saw Dan McDonald on YouTube, and this guy was in his R R R V was juicing. He was juicing like lettuce yeah, right. and like <laughs> cabbage and kale. In and nature, in outside, nature, right. outside juicing, <laughs> and I, and and then I look at him and say, "Man, this guy looks in shape and he looks happy, and he just uh, drinking the juice and just being being happy and chilling." I'm like, you know, what, man, I want to try this out, man. So I just got myself a little <laughs> small ju- juicer that I had there at the house. And I just started to juice everything together and I started from there. But the main person was Dan McDonald. He's the one that really got me into juice. He, he's the first person I saw just juicing, juicing and drinking only juice alone. And that's it. Carrot and spinach. That's it. So I started to do what he was doing. And then from 20, yeah, from 2012 on. And, and even now I still watch his videos now. I still like because people that help me, I always support them. I keep yes. liking even you. I came because I like what you do. Thank you. You know, so. thank you so much. Now, okay, some people they don't believe like this is crazy that you uh, don't eat, um, you know, meat <laughs> and complete yeah. proteins like yeah. quinoa and things like this, beans. So you don't eat any cooked food. Nope. Zero, okay. Zero cooked food. So I can't. I can't eat it. If I do eat it, my stomach gonna bam blow it. Mm. So, my, you know, my reasons for not eating it because I can't. Even if I want to, I can't eat it. Yeah, I would actually get sick if I eat it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah same. Yeah. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> oh, yeah. It really is, you know, because right. you can't go back no, when I you go a certain. No, I can't go the back. body doesn't uh, allow you to go back. I actually tried to do it to go cook vegan one time. Yes, and um, I swole up. Like my face got puffy. I, I know you saw the pictures. I have my dreads. You can tell by the dreads. Like I was looking puffy and swollen. Because I went and do the cook vegan. So I was eating the Beyond burgers and the rice and the sausages, the Beyond sausages, the worst in ever. Mm. I put on a lot of weight because I was retaining a lot of water weight because of the sodium in those foods. So because of all that, I stopped putting on weight. And then I started to feel sick again Yeah. because of the cook vegan food. But I mean, it's not a, you know, a knock on the cook vegan because you have to eat it straight from the ground. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the best way to get your food is from the ground. You shouldn't process it. Because yes. process is not good for you. E- even, the, as I said, process and the, the meat and everything, that's the word. Yes. Yeah, so. And so now, what do you eat in a typical day? What does this look like? Uh, man, to be honest with you, I don't even need to eat that much anymore. I, just, I can have a mango. I can take the mango here and just cut off a piece. I take a spoon and eat it. And I can eat a star fruit. I can drink some water. I can, eat, um, I, I can even make a smoothie. That's it. I'm done. And I can work out and I'm fine. It become my body is adjusted to this kind of living now. And it's not only doing that, I go outside and I breathe the air and then I get the sunlight. So it's not just me just eating the food. I'm working out every day. I work out seven days a week. Yes. Every yeah. single day. H- how long do you work out for usually? It, it varies. There are some days I may go maybe like um, an hour. There's some times I may go two and sometimes I may go no, half an hour. But it just depends on how. But I always, every single morning when I get, that's the first thing I do is to go outside and breathe the air and then look in and, you know, just get the sun ray and take off my shirt and just work out and pull-ups and, you know. Yeah, listen. I, ha- I have to do that, man. <laughs> I'm going to leave the link below to follow Wayne. <laughs> He's the raw vegan David Goggins. You know <laughs> David Goggins, right? Yeah, I know him. Okay. Actually, somebody said that I look like him on on our weed and our <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> you're the raw, you're the healthy <laughs> David Goggins. You're the Dread raw Dogs. vegan yeah, version. The version. Um, and a lot of people in the raw, you're great for the raw vegan community, Wayne. Oh, yeah, thank you. Because a lot of people, that. they're not fit. Yeah. So yeah, tell me. Yeah, I noticed that too. I noticed that. T- tell me what's going on there. Why? One, one, what, you know, one thing I found out, one of the biggest things when I started, I wasn't going outside enough. I was not breathing the air. I wasn't getting the sunlight. I wasn't in the rain shower. I didn't take off my shoes and put it in the grass. 
Mm. All those things matter. You have to connect with nature. If you're not connected with nature, you're going to lose a lot of things. A lot of the el- 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 elements, the minerals and vitamins, aminos, they also come from the area of breathing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Being in the sun, the, you know, the, the, um, the, the vitamins from the sun. So when you're not doing that, it's like you... I mean, you can still be healthy, but you need to move every day. You need to do some form of push-ups and breathe and breath work. And that's what I was missing the first time when I, when I, when I started. And I didn't... I felt good, but my skin was pale. Like I was looking kind of like pale and pasty. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yo, I have to start doing something. And I started to notice that, oh man, I need to go outside mm. and then breathe the air and then, and then get my foot in the grass. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of con- connect with nature, you know? Yes. Yeah, man, that's the way to do it, you know? If you're prescribing to like clients of yours, how long do you tell people to go outside for? Well, right now, it's, well, it depends on where you live at because right now it's kind of hot outside. Yeah. And um, I, I tell you no lie, man. There <laughs> on the other day, I was in a park just by myself. I'm just working out, man. And uh, you know, and I looked to the side of me, I saw a bunch of cops. <laughs> like a line of cops, like 10 cops, just standing just there. Staring at you. Yeah, I'm like, I'm thinking like, what the hell is going on? So <clears> I'm just like kicking and like doing my stuff. And I look and there's like, I look around like, damn, did I do something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> but I guess because it's hot outside and there's nobody. So a lot of people can't, can't take that heat. But the more you go into the heat, is the, is the more adjusted your body's going to get to it. And, it's, and, and just go for the rain too. Like people run from the rain and cover up. No, you, no, you need to get in the rain. That um that will get your body nice and fit and, and toned. The rain, of course, it will get is uh, actually good for your hair. It's good for your skin, yeah. And that's what people are missing because they're locked up in AC. Mm. Even though they're eating, but they're locked up in AC, then um they are not get no fresh fresh air. So your body mm. die off. It's kind of like a plant, a walking plants. Yes. Yeah. So you know, so I mean that's basically that's that's the only difference that I did, because if the eating part was just I just drinking juice and most of the time I just drank juice and that's it, but I wasn't going outside though. I was locked up in the house a lot. So you do juice every day? You juice every day? Um, I try to juice every day, but most of the time I do, though. And it's mostly like the watermelon juice I may have. Okay. And like uh, the same, pretty much like what you do there, the watermelon. Um, I rarely do the green juice that much. I just mostly do the watermelon juice a lot now because I guess the weather, the hot, you know. And you eat fruit. Uh, do you ever make like salads? Do you? Yeah, f- man, I do like kale and like, you know, like uh, uh, um, avoc- avocado salads. You know what I'm saying? I put, I put a little nuts and seed, a little bit of nuts and seeds in it. Um, yeah, that's basically kale and stuff like that. You know, spinach and arugula. You know, but the base is avocados, though. You know. So, yes. Yeah. And so now, after over ten years eating like this, mm. um, why can you tell people why is it so important to pay very close attention to what you eat, the uh, foods that you're eating? Um, can I say whatever I want to say? No. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Well, just don't talk about the... <laughs> no, 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 I know. The no. only uh, thing. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Yeah. But you can curse, you can say anything yeah, you yeah. want. Okay, cool. I just, I don't know what, you know, if it's... Oh, yes. It's, it's, we it's like, like the truth GRPG. here. Okay. Um, from <laughs> what I've learned, I think that the meat itself is, um, is not good for you. It's very, it, the meat is very acidic. And um, when you eat that, you're, you're, you're mixing your blood with blood. And then the next thing to the animal is dead. So you're killing the animal and then you're going to cook him up and then eat it. So you're not getting nothing from that. So when you eat that, you're only making yourself sick. This goes to the processed food too. The processed food is not good for you either because it's made in a lab and a bunch of stuff is in it that you can't even pronounce. If you look on the packages, I see a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff. And even though it may say like, um, there's, a, there's a good one I do, it's plant-based. Oh, it's plant-based, man, it's good for you. You look at the back of it, it's a whole bunch of ingredients that don't belong it's in It's a you. plant like a factory. <laughs> exactly. And when like, you, p- you know, they call it factories plants. Exactly. <laughs> and when you put it inside of you, just destroys the body, man. You start putting on weight, you start to swell up, and it's just not—it's it's, it's, it's just not healthy. Because I've done it. Yeah. The best—the best thing to do is to eat straight from the earth. It's—it's it's itself in its natural state, and 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 not to cook your food up. It's just that the animals, is, man. Not, I feel like you're not supposed to eat animals. I don't think that we are um, here to eat animals. You Definitely know what I'm not. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone here is vegan, right? Everyone here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, because um, I talk about it a lot. Like, yeah. I don't call it chicken or fish or yeah. burgers. I call it dead animal body dead animal parts. Because yeah, yeah. that's what it is. And, you know, if we yeah. keep continuing to call it, you know, filet mignon, then nah, we're just going to continue nah. to kill ourselves. Yeah, <clears> man. <throat> People are dying every single day because they're eating that. And, and it's hard to explain that to them because they think that you're talking about, bad about their food. Yes. Know? So now, can yeah. you tell me, because I'm sure you have friends and family members that yeah. eat dead animal body parts. Yeah processed foods and things like that um how do you personally deal with it how how do you eat so healthy and deal with your family members who may be sick 
Um, you mean, you, or do you mean sick while they're eating the food or they just, you know, just have the problems that they uh, um, have the pressure and stuff like that? Yeah, like how do you um, live in a healthy way knowing oh, your no, family not is not healthy? Like what advice <laughs> would you tell somebody? To, because it's very hard to watch your family being sick. Yeah, I, um, I actually came to a point, you know, a point in my life where I'm like, um, I put my videos online and I share them and whoever wants to watch it, watch it. And the people around me are going to do whatever they want to do. But I, I came to a point where I used to like say, hey, man, you know, eating that is not good for you. Yeah. You should try to try something else, maybe like a substitution for, for like meat. I, and there's sometimes I say fish, but that's still not even good. It's like every, any, anything with an eye and blood, you're not supposed to eat that. But it's like it's difficult because even though I say that their mind is, um, is stuck in a particular way where they don't really get it yet because, not, because I haven't really been through that process. Because everything's a process and you have to go through it in life. I've been through that process. That's the reason why I know. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't use the toilet. <laughs> I was putting on weight and I felt sick and headaches and I actually thought I was going to die. Is that what point. got you off alcohol and meat and dairy? No, the alcohol was a little harder. Um, yeah, how even did though, you? Even though I was on raw, um, I didn't stop drinking until 2013. So I was drinking out of red red wine and stuff like that. I, yes. I, I substituted my liquor for red wine because I thought it was more healthy, like grapes. Yes. But it's still, <laughs> still alcohol, man. So I, I did my last drink. And it almost killed me. My whole stomach swelled up like a ball. And sharp pains in my side because my gallbladder was acting up on me. That's one of my reasons why I changed too, because my, gall, my, my gallbladder was giving me problems. So my stomach swelled up and I couldn't pass no bowel movements or nothing. So I'm like, oh crap, I feel sick as hell, man. So I was like, man, I can't, I can't do this no more. So then after that, I'm like, you know what, man? I don't think I need to do this no more. I, was, I, I, mean, I mean, it was like 2013, so I just threw the yes. buckle down. And I said, I'm done with drinking no, man. I said, this, this is going to be my last time that I drank. So, and I never drink again. But the reason why I stopped because of the pain, that last pain I felt, and I said, I don't need to do this no more, you know? Yeah, um, a lot of new beginnings, a lot of transformations start with severe pain. Yeah. And like, I think like Wayne and I, like what we're doing here online, trying to help people is so they don't have to go to that point. Right, exactly. So exactly. like, is there a way for people to change without having to go to severe pain, do you think? I mean, in this, in, I mean, in these times now. Yeah. Nah, I mean, it's got, that's that's. There's some people may want to change, but it usually cause something happened to you. Yeah. You know, like a life experience change and something like maybe you're you have can cancer. I mean, I'm not saying wishing or bad, but your stomach or massive pain, something where it's like a very severe thing where you have to like um make a lifestyle change, but usually it's um. It's kind of tough because people are gonna keep doing the same thing. You know, it's just part of life. It's just that, that um, that's a life they know and they don't want to change. If it's, I guess, if they feel good or they think they're feeling good. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing. Mean? It's like it's I want to inspire everyone to go vegan and be, you know, healthy. But yeah. like, it's like they are not gonna change until they have to. Yep, they have to go through some kind of life change and experience, man. Let us know down below yeah. w if you changed. What made you change? What was your experience that your rock bottom? Because that was your rock bottom, right? Your gallbladder. My gallbladder, yeah. You're not yeah, yeah. being able to go to the bathroom. Um, I was going to go to the bathroom. I was gaining Oof. weight. And all the exercises that I used to do in the past, I wasn't <laughs> able to do it no more. So I was stuck at home, just sitting there, just rocking <laughs> back and forward. And I was like, oh, what's going on with me? And then I started having anxiety. And then I thought, and then I started to feel like I was, um, you know, like dying, like a dying feeling, like your heart racing. And like, yes. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, you know, and then it was like a mess. And then the stuff that I like to do, I wasn't able to do it no more. Mm. So because you can't do your stuff that you used to do, so then the anxiety started kicking. Yes, of course. Can you please tell me where do you get your protein, Wayne? <laughs> That's funny because <laughs> I don't I don't care about protein. I can just eat this mango and get and then and then, and then go get some sunlight and eat a little bit of nuts and I'm good and that's it. I don't get protein from nuts. The protein comes from the fruit. There's, there's there's a little bit of pro protein in every single fruit and vegetable. Do it's we not need protein? Mm, no, we don't. You need more amino acid, minerals and vitamins in your you know in your body. Uh -huh. And you get that from nature also. Mm -hmm. you, you can actually breed that in. So yeah, like, like through the air. Yeah. Do you take any supplements? Hell no. I used to do it way back in the days when I didn't know no better. But all those supplements on the shelf is all bogus stuff. That, those, those things don't belong in there. I used to take it and piss pure yellow. <laughs> pee, pee yellow and it back up to my stomach, backed up and I couldn't use the toilet. All those things is a hoax. It's just a tin to make money. Yeah. You can get all that from putting your foot in the soil and get that good bacteria by earthing or grounding yourself. Mm. You get it from breathing the air. I don't take no vitamins, nothing. I just drink the juice, eat the fruit. And just exercise, and that's it. I feel, I feel great. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't have no problems, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, what is your best advice to somebody who wants to start a raw vegan diet? Um, to start a raw vegan diet, you have to maybe, oh, man, um, make sure you have a lot of fruit around. Put uh, get a lot of fruit like man, man, uh, man, man, mangoes, cherries, and um, av avocados. Any veg vegetable and fruit. Make sure you have a lot of lot of rounds so you won't you know go in, go into the cupboard and take stuff out. And all, and all the things that you the processed foods you gotta get rid of all that. And all the meat products you gotta get rid of all that. Just make sure you have a lot of fruit around. And yeah, and that's basically it. But but uh, but the way I did it was just on juice though, because I started with the juice first because I had to, and then from there I transitioned. But to, to get into a raw, like I said, is it's not as easy, man. Because a lot of people are gonna be beaten down on it, like it's not healthy lifestyle, and and, and they can't sustain on only eating fruits. So it's it's a thing where you just have to try it, and then if it works for you, it works for you, and if it don't work, then, then that's oh, it. Oh yeah, that's another question. Do you think everybody should be raw? Um, like, do you think it will work for everyone? It can work for everybody, but it's up to them to believe in that because you have to believe in yeah. the process also. You can't just be like, <laughs> oh, man, I don't know if it's going to work. And you try one time and you quit. Like, oh, I don't work. I'm, I'm like, hung I'm, I'm hungry for something else. Yes, yes, you, you, yes. You, you have to like be consistent and then yeah. go through the process. There, there are going to be processes where you're going to feel like you can't do it, you're going to fail, but you keep on trying. It's, a, it's, just a, it's more of a discipline thing you're going to have to have. You, you can't just like think that you're just going to eat a mango or like in, in, like in two or three days it's going to be like, I'm good. Yeah. It's like a long thing, man. I want to go more into the mindset, Wayne, because, yeah. yeah, the mindset is very important. If you're, like, on the fence about is this healthy, is this not, do I do I need to take supplements, do I need to eat protein, do I need to eat meat, right. I might die, I might be anemic, I might. So, like, yeah. how did you get, how did you become confident in this lifestyle in the beginning? In the beginning, it was more of a painting. And I wanted to stop, you know, stop taking the pills. Cause I was taking a lot of pills, man. I was like, I need to get off of the Xanax, especially the Xanax. That's bad for you. Why? Because I had a, like, I'm a lot of anxiety. But but why is why why, why is, is it, it bad? so bad for you? Because I man. I guarantee you somebody's taking Xanax. Man, yo, I took it for I took it for anxiety to calm myself down. But after I take it, I'm more anxious <laughs> than I was from before. I'm more anxious, so I'm like worse. Then I find mm. myself when it wears off. It's like I feel like lost. Like I'm like, what's going on? And then I get more, <laughs> I get more anxious. If if my own shadow scare me, my shadow would be there. I'm like, oh shit, my shadow. So then I end up taking more. I think, oh, I gotta take a higher dosage. You know what I'm saying? So I took it for like six months. Mm. My my hair started to um, thin out. My hair here was like patches of hair, in my beard. So I <laughs> look at my beard's patches because it it makes the hair fall out. I was having a nose bleeds. Yeah, it's it's it's. It's it's a chem chemical and it's a it's a pill. It doesn't it doesn't belong in you and it's poison. So I needed to get off all that. So my you know my thing was because I thought I was dying and this was my loss. My, my this was the last thing I could try was to go do drink just drink juice and stop eating. Yeah. Because I, because I listened to Dan and Dan is like yo the food you're eating is bad for you. Stop eating those food. Everything that you're doing stop doing it. Just drink the juice. And then I just listened to him. I said you know what man I have nothing to lose. Because right now I'm gaining weight. I feel like I'm going to die. And if I go to the doctors and tell them my, my side is hurting me, they're going to want to take my gallbladder out. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, shit. So I was like, man, you know what, man? I'm just going to just live on juice, man. And, and I mean, if I die, I die. I guess I, at least I know I tried. Yes. And that was my motivation was because I didn't want to stay sick or be on pills for the rest of my life. If I didn't see Dan's video, <laughs> shit, I probably wouldn't be here now. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, yeah. I'm yes. Telling you, I, I would, I'm telling you, that is, that is why I want to thank him. You know, I mean, I thank him all the time online. Hey, man, thank you very much for helping me out. Yeah. But, it, but, but if it wasn't for him, I'd be in probably a, a, like a lot of weight, probably on pills. Or not uh, even here. Yeah, yeah. probably not, uh, um, maybe not, 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 not even here at all. Yeah, same with the raw food diet. I wouldn't be here. So, yeah. you know, like um, David Wolf was my mentor right. back in the day. David Wolf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know you're talking he, about. He, yeah, yeah. um... Him and other raw vegan people now, mm -hmm. they, um, they, you know, they don't believe in certain things anymore. And some raw vegan gurus, they believe fruit is not good for you. They think that fruit um, has too much sugar. Nah, fruit man. causes diabetes. Fruit has fruit. It, fruit has Can you fruit, talk about fruit that? or sugar. Yeah, fruit has fruit or sugar in it. It's different than regular sugar. It's not processed sugar. So you can eat as much as you want. The, the fruit is, is made for you to eat. So if you... 
it's not like going to the store and eating a can, can, a, eating a candy bar or just eating sugar. It's not, it's not the same. It's different. The fruit will heal you. It heals it, and it's your food just that, uh, that you're supposed to be eating. E- even the veggie stuff, it's the same thing. You mix them together and eat them. You do not, I'm doing this for like going to be like 11 years, and I still keep my weight on. I'm not, I'm not skinny and like, like look, yeah. you know, I'm mess, messed up. Like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> like, I can't move. <laughs> I'm jumping. I'm kicking. I'm splitting. I'm 44 years old. I'm going to be 45, and I'm doing splits and jumping and flipping. Amazing. Come on, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think... <laughs> You know what I mean? Listen, we're gonna have the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Oh, awesome! So I want you to go. Oh yeah, I yeah, want yeah, you yeah. to go. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, because yeah. The, there's like a very big need in this community for people that are fit okay. and working out, and like not looking like they're dying. You yeah, know? I noticed that. I saw a lot of raw people online too. Not you know, not Dan because Dan was in shape. Yes. And Dan is still yes. in shape. Yes. And he was most muscular. And I was like, man, this guy looks healthy. And look at me. He's like an older dude than me. He's like probably like four mm. years older than me. And I was like, man, I, you know, I think I need to change my lifestyle. But on the other people, I'm not, I'm not judging them. But man, you can see that under the eyes and just the skin. It looks pasty and it looks drawn out, you know? Yeah, it doesn't it help the lifestyle. Nah, what what nah. are they doing wrong? They're not getting out into nature. No, not, because I could tell on the skin. Their skin is pale, like it looks pasty. And you can tell on the eyes, it's black on the eyes. It's just, uh, look, look at their, uh, like they're deficient in something, which is mostly f- not getting the fresh air. Yes. And, and, the vit- vit- and the vitamin D from the sun. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So. Yes. It's, it's, it's a com- combination of everything that you have to put into it. You know, you can eat the fruits and stuff, but you still need to go outside. You can't lock up an AC all day. <laughs> and you need to work out. And it, no, and exercise into it is a very important Can part you tell everyone why exercise contributes to your health? What does exercise do for your body? Well, for me, it keeps me calm because it creates en- endorphins that is like a happy chemical that gives you a high. So when I work out, it's like um, it's like when people smoke or whatever, they get high or whatever, and they do a drug or whatever. I get the same feeling from working out. Also, it keeps a good blood flow. And um, it just keeps you in shape. It keeps your heart pumping. And it keeps you moving. It keeps you lim- limber and your joints moving. Because if you don't move, then you're going to lose it. And you're gonna, your muscles are going to get tight, your knees are going to get tight, your back is going to lock up on you. And the more you age and you don't use your body, then you're going to lose everything that you have. So you have to, that is why I move every single day. You have to move. And moving is the a, is a most important part of it. How should people start? Somebody that's sedentary, that works in an office all day, man, where do they start? I just drop on the ground and do push-ups. That's it. Easy. It's very, very, very easy, man. It's easy. You can use this and do push-ups. You can do squats. You can do some crunches on the ground. Um, you don't need to go to a gym like that. Just wherever you are. If yeah, you're sitting do you on go the to computer, the gym? No, I just no. go outside. Outside is my gym. I go outside oh. and play in, the, <laughs> play in the grass and roll yes. around all day, man. And people watch me and go, yo, this guy's crazy. <laughs> and then, then I put music on my headphone, I dance. And, and they're like, oh, God, this guy's dancing. There's no music playing <laughs> for the headphones, you know? Yes. But um, yeah, I just, I mean, just drop down and do push-ups. You know, you just do small things and you go for little walks here and there. But if you're in a chair typing all day, you're here for six hours sitting down and you shouldn't be that long sitting down. I'm six hours now. Okay, the floor is there. Put, I'm doing some push-ups. Drop and do like 10 push-ups or 20. And you get, until you get back up, you can get one of them pull-up bars that hang on the door. Mm-hmm. Do some pull-ups. You can get the chair and do dips on the chair. There's so many different things you can do. You don't need to like set up for a gym. I mean, just to go to a gym. And then when you get there, you're like, okay, you're looking around and there's people everywhere. Everybody have the phones out. But it's like, it's not, I mean, you're not really working out. It's like, mm-hmm. a, you know, you know, you just, you work, you know, wherever you at, you push ups, and the best workout is just your body weight because I don't lift heavy weights. I was gonna say, do you lift? No, yeah. I just use resistant bands, and that's it. And pull ups and dips. I don't, I used to lift weights, and I used to hurt, I used, I used to hurt myself, my shoulder, my knees, and my elbows. Used to, um, used to get hurt because I lift too heavy. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can do a little small, like 20 pounds, but I don't lift heavy weight. And you just, you know, your body weight is the best thing because you get toned and, you, and, 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 and then you get a little pump. You don't have to be like big like this, but it's a little pump, you know. Yes. Uh, and that's the best thing to do, you know. So, And it's simple. It's easy. You know, you don't have to go like, oh, my God, put my work clothes on. Just what, what, whatever you're wearing, <laughs> just drop on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just People it, make uh, it yeah. very complicated. Yeah, man, Same with the raw food diet. Um, very complicated, you know. Like, yeah. they need these supplements. They need to do these <laughs> recipes, these dehydrators. Dehydrators, yeah. Do I, you use a dehydrator? E, um, I used to play around with it, and I still have it. But it's sometimes <laughs> it's so difficult, man, to go in and start... <laughs> It, take, it, it takes a lot of prepping, man. It takes a long <laughs> time to do it. It takes a long time, man, just to prep a, um, like a crust, a, a crust of cookie crust or whatever. And it can take a while. So yeah. I, me, I just have the fruit lay out on my countertop 
And I have a stove, but I don't use a stove to do anything. So all the food is laid there. So I just pick up something and eat it. And that's yeah. it. And, and then I juice and I stir it in a gallon bottle. And I put it in the fridge and I just go and drink that. And that's true. And just, I mean, and just, and, and then I just throw up my day. I might have some nuts and, and that's it. Do you stress about having um, a certain amount of greens? No. <laughs> no. I don't stress about no greens, man. No, that does. I don't. That does. It just is. If I feel good, then I just go along with that. You know what I'm saying? It's just how I feel. You know, and, and then you can feel it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't feel too good, you know, in the morning. But even in the morning, I just drink a little water. I don't eat nothing in the morning. I don't eat till maybe like, sometimes I don't eat till like 12 or 1, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I may, I may just have a little fruit and a little juice and that's it. And I'm done. But it's it's for for, 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 for like other people to do that is going to be kind of different. You have to, you know, you have to prep them a little differently. They um they may need, um they may still need to eat certain kind of foods and just kind of yeah. wean themselves off because I'm doing it for so long now it's, it's gonna be like twelve years you know so this is something that my body is used to yes and I'm do it for a long time so so I had up and downs too you know yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure you have up and downs too right I mean you must have I mean, that, because everybody does of course of course we have up and downs you know I eat very differently now than I used to eat. You know, when I first went raw. Oh. When you first went raw, you would juice. No, right? yeah, yeah, because I couldn't eat. Because when yeah. I eat, uh, my mind was like, oh, my stomach's hurting me. So I found, and then Dan was only juicing. So I'm like, yes. I'm doing what Dan is doing, just going to drink. <laughs> and that was amazing because that just cleansed you out. Dude, that yeah. made me go to the bathroom. I, I, <laughs> and I started like losing the weight, just sort of melt off. And then I started to see abs. I yeah. Said, oh, I, I, said, I stopped and said, holy crap. So I said, hold on there. So the food I was eating was messing my body up. Mm. And the alcohol and everything. Oh, and then I start to realize, and I start to wake, wake up. That's probably the wake, wakening for me was to find out that when I look at my pictures and I see me change, mm-hmm. and I see how my face was aging, you know, my face is like coming back to a shape. I'm like, hold on there. So the food is messing us up. And then that was awakening for me. And then that is when I know that the foods I have out there, do not eat it. If a man make it, don't eat it. Yes. Uh, in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. If man makes it, don't eat it. Yep. Yeah, that's really good it. advice. That's really good. Um, can you give somebody advice who is um, trying to be healthy alone? Mm-hmm. Like they don't have anyone in their life right. that's helping them. Their wife or husband or family, mm-hmm. they're like, they're either making it harder for them mm-hmm. or they're against it. Can you give them some advice? The best advice to do with that is to focus on what you're doing. Because other people are going to talk and they're going to pick on you and they're going to say things. They're going to say, oh, you're crazy or something must be wrong with you. Or look at you, lo- you know, you look at you losing a lot of weight. You know, even when they're like over, overweight, but they think that in that kind of lifestyle, you must be big and plump. Mm-hmm. You know, so I would just say focus on what you're doing and whatever you put your mind to, you just go, go with that. Don't look at any of, don't look at any of the distractions that people give you. Because people are going to try to dis- distract you every time and, you know, try to take, take you off on what you're doing. So focus on what you're doing. That's probably the best thing. And then that is what I do. I focus directly on what I'm doing. And when people talk and say things, I just like, yo, I'm looking my juice. Hmm. You, Tina, you guys do what you're doing. Because I, I said this a thousand times. No, it's going to come to a point where, the, uh, Tina, where I'm not going to say, I told you so. <coughs> I'm just going to give it a look. Like, I told you? I mean, I'm not going to say I told you. I'm going to be like, <laughs> I, just, I just give it this. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And because you see me every day doing it, yeah. and, and you see what I'm doing, it's like obvious, like, damn, I'm 11 and 12, going to 12 years. All these guys moving like that. Why is he so in shape or something? <laughs> you know, yeah, because I'm not eating what you guys are eating. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. So the, so the best thing is just to focus on focus on you and, and start worrying about what other people are saying. Then, uh, same with the fitness. Like, how did you stay consistent? Were you always fit before? I started doing the martial arts when I was four years old. Mm. So my, my, my dad was my teacher. So we used to own a school. So I was, wow. I was always fit. But when I got to the bottle at 20, 20 21 years, years, years old, that kind of mm. went down the hill. I started to drink and party for every single, almost every day. And I did that for like 10 years. So the physical fitness was always <laughs> there, but I was losing it though because of the food I was eating. So all my joints were tightened up on me. My knees were hurting me. My back was hurting me. I was getting sluggish, sluggish. I was putting a lot of weight. Once I start to eat the raw foods, you know, everything fall off. And I just detox my body. And I went right back to how I was, like when I was a kid, like 12 years old. I felt this good, good again. I could do push-ups. I can hang on a bar. I can flip. I can kick high in the air. You know what I'm saying? I could just move around. I'm able to move a lot more now than, 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 what I, you know, than, than when I was drinking alcohol and eating the bad foods. So. Yes. 
Yeah, okay, so. and so what advice would you give to somebody who wants to be consistent with exercise? Like they, they just can't make themselves do it. How, how do you make yourself do it? That's, that's a mind thing. That's, that's in your mind. And to make yourself do something is something where you have to motivate yourself. Because people, mot uh, people can motivate you to do things, but it's up to you to make sure that you get up every morning and you do a walk. So the, the, best, the best thing you can do is just maybe, you know, at least for me, the way how I motivate myself, I, I look back in my past and I go, I don't really want to be like that. You know, I, I want to do better than that. And I know what that feels like. And even with the food, but the food is different though, because I can't even eat it if I really want to eat it. You know, the pork and stuff, I can't touch yeah. that. So I just make a promise to myself, say every morning I get up, I'm going to do a movement. And I try not to kill myself. If I only can do 10, 20 minutes, I just do that. So it's, it's best to start off slow and something easy, like a push-up and squats, or even go for a walk, or, or find a sport that you love, like dance, like, like you know, you can do for dancing or, or whatever you like <coughs> to do, the, the, um, just to get the body moving, or yoga, yoga or something to get the body moving. You know, it's actually a good thing too. So that's, I mean, that's basically it. Those, those, those things are a mental thing. There's something you got to have it in, in your heart and have it inside of you. To, to do get up every day. I do it seven days a week, but my body is used to it. Yes. So it's more like a, it's more of a consistent thing, you know. Yes. So I mean, that's a lot of people. They they want something. They say they want it. They really yeah, do want it. Want it but, but like their actions are not showing that they want it. Yeah, so man, somebody got to fight for it, man. It's, 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 it's either you want to be healthy or you don't want you to. You got to fight. Yeah, and, and people. Some I, I I came to understand that you know that a lot of people don't want to be healthy. Why do you think? Because they're lazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not picking on people. I'm just saying because they're lazy. Because it's easy to jump in your car and lock the window, have the AC on, and go to work, go eat the food, and come back home and just sit down. And, mm -hmm. the, and, and then I know if you have kids, because I have kids mm -hmm. too. But at the same time, you still gotta like exercise and do a little something, something, man. Because you can't just keep doing the same thing, just eating, eating, and just sitting down because you're a beast. And then that is where the sickness come from. That's that is where the high blood pressure and all those things come come yeah. come, come, come from, right? So it's like a lot of people are just lazy. Because I know it's, it, I'm, 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 I know it can get hard because, you know, you have a long day of work. Yeah. You come home, you just don't want to do no workout. Yeah. You're tired, right? But it's that extra push, you know, is your health means more. Yeah. And, you, and, and they say your health is your wealth, you know? Well, that's the thing. People want to be healthy, um, but they also want to be, they want it to be easy. They want life to be easy. And they don't want to be man. sick, but they don't want to do the work. So it's like, you got to choose yeah. which one. Yeah. Because it's either way, you're going to, Either way, you're going to be uncomfortable. You're yep. going to be uncomfortable working out yeah. or you're going to be uncomfortable being overweight, having yep. diabetes, yep. getting your gallbladder possibly taken out. And yep. I know many people that the have gallbladder their too. gallbladder taken out. It's very common. Yeah, I know. And when that come out, it's, it's hard to eat food, man. Even the fruits too, it's going to be tough to eat it because your body, your, your belly going to keep swelling and you're going to feel sick. Or you're going to feel sick yeah. all the time. Whatever you can do to avoid having your organs taken out you got to do it. Dude. And listen, this interview with Wayne might be your wake-up call. And you say, yeah. you know what? I don't want I don't want to suffer in my future. I want to be here for my kids. I want to be here for my family. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. And um, you got to find it within you. So listen, Wayne, I thank you so much no for problem, this. No um, my last question to you is, um, if you could share a message with everyone in the world, um, no matter what age they are, no matter where they live, if you could share something, like if I put headphones on everybody in the world, mm. what is a message that you would like to share? Um, love. That's it. You know, um, have love for everyone. Doesn't matter how you look or your skin tone or if you're gay or whatever or whatever you may be. Show love because it's a separation that's causing a problem. When we're all separated like that and we don't come together as one. Like, oh, you and I come together and we do a little something here, but at the same time, we need to all come. It doesn't matter if you're white or whatever religion you may be. We need to all come together as one. Everybody's going to be who they want to be, and that's it. Even if you eat meat or whatever you want to do, I still have friends that eat meat. I still talk, you know what I'm saying? Um, do I support it? I mean, probably not. But that don't mean I'm going to be like, I hate you, man. Get away from me. I mean, we're still friends. You know what I mean? So I think that a lot of people will hate on you. Because they just don't understand, you know what I'm saying? But I understand because I live both lifestyles of doing the meat and alcohol. You know, I'm doing something different now, which I'm not just doing it because I want to be cool. I'm doing <laughs> it because I have to do it. I have to, I have to eat like this. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. 
I mean, well, when you're raw or when you're doing anything strange, it's very, you know, scary to people. Exactly. Different exactly. scares people. Of course. So like you said, like the meat eaters you have in your life. Yeah, actually, they need you to be their friend the most. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, they're going to need you. Uh, no, no, no. They're, they're, they're yeah, sick. Yeah. 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 That, yeah I, I, I think that's the reason why I say you can't continue mm -hmm. eating like that for that long because the longer you stay on that is the worse you're going to get and then it's going to you know you're just going to hit rock bottom man and it's going to be tough to pull yourself out then yeah. you're going to go to a doctor's and they're going to give you a this pill this pill this pill this pill and then you're going to be like oh I think we need to remove something <laughs> and yeah. that's when you have a problem yeah that is when you have a big problem because then th that is when they mess with the body and you shouldn't mess with the body like that. The body is a healing by the body can heal itself if you leave it, you know? Yes. If you're watching this and you have all your organs, you better thank God right now yep. and get on this. Yeah. You better get yeah. on this right yeah. now. Because yeah. I know yeah. a lot of clients, they're fighting for their life. And yeah, they've gotten certain things removed and it's very difficult. It's difficult, man. It's, that's when people tell me that, yeah, I took out this, I took out that. I'm like, damn. I'm like, man, just, I, just, I just say, just do the best you can, man. I mean, like, yes. give me the juice do the best you can. But when you start removing organs, it's, it kind of be kind of tough, you know? Because yes. the, the body is not the same anymore. The body is not going to react or, or be a normal thing. Yes. Yeah, Agreed. So. And so do the best you can. And the best you can is good enough, guys. Yeah. And so if you yeah. liked this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Um, below, I'll leave all of Wayne's information, his website yep. and his Instagrams. And his. you have a YouTube? Yeah, you just, yeah, I have a YouTube channel too. What's your YouTube? It's just Wayne Gitchy, W A Y N E. I'll leave it down below. G I C H. Every, every, everything is Wayne Gitchy. You find me. Put Wayne Gitchy in your YouTube. Love right it. And there. guys, when you see his workout videos, you're yeah, gonna be so inspired. Yeah. And <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll leave a workout. Maybe I'll put it into this interview, okay. like a video of you working awesome, out, awesome. because I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, that. you're very inspiring to me. Yeah. And I thank you so much for your yeah, time. Yeah, uh, I also want to say that you um, that you inspire me too. Oh, I mean, you. more of the on the business, more on the business side of things. Like you, you know, you you do a lot of stuff, man. You, you mm -hmm. think it's like you're consistently on it. Like you post, Thank post, you. post. I mean, that's how you do a lot of good work, man. A hard Thank work you too. So much. And it's and I know that it's not easy to get up every day and do that. It's it's you know, that you're a grinder. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. and that's the oh, time. That's All right, awesome, awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Wayne. You. I appreciate it. You're a grinder. I'm trying to do push-ups like you. <laughs> the diamond. I'm trying yeah, to do diamond the diamond push-ups. Push yeah, man. Ooh, those easy. are hard. Yeah, it can be tough. It can Ooh, be tough. And, but and reversals. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. But thank you guys so much right, for watching, you. and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Yep. Thank you so much. Oh, man, yeah. truly love yourself you take care of yourself for you yourself have the power the ability you are your own gem so therefore no equipment is needed sacrifice apply yourself for you yourself have the power to change